Hi, my name is Sven Lindbrock from SOS International uh, in the Nordics. Um, we are an assistance company, mainly wine label, uh, in roadside and travel assistance. So if people, you know, break a leg, go skiing, uh, we have the network with doctors, uh, ambulances and whatever to uh, get you home safely. Um, I think uh, what I would like to talk about is a little bit about where we are represented. Uh, 37 languages, so um, we, we speak most of the languages uh, in, in this business, so to speak. Uh, I think what I would like to go to is actually, uh, we are Microsoft's house. Imagine uh, having two Linux servers one year ago, and um, then Red Hat came along, sold us uh, the entire stack. Uh, we are running two clusters on bare metal. Uh, we have Fuse, we have uh, the BPM platform, we have mobile, we have uh, Freescale up running. Uh, and we didn't have anyone who know anything about Red Hat at that point. Uh, we have a few uh, Java developers, uh, but now we have uh, three ongoing projects running. Um, we have a platform that uh, is going live 1st of June, uh, video sessions with uh, live doctors around the world, uh, live chat. Uh, this is the platform for the end users that we are using. We have the platform that uh, our medical staff, case handlers, is using. Uh, this is just to give you an idea of the complexity of, of the platform, because I think uh, the most interesting part is actually the timeline. And what you should imagine is that before May last year, we have two Linux servers and we have, I think, uh, two Oracle databases and the rest of Microsoft. Uh, we didn't even have uh, Apple computers inside. I don't know how many of you could imagine that world. But uh, we, of course, have been doing uh, two uh, PUCs deep undercover, under the radar, of course. Um, and then uh, we established a department working with uh, digital innovation in May last year. So we uh, have existed one year. And then uh, in August, uh, we ordered this Red Hat stack with all the components. And in September, we had a dedicated team since none, on, none of us in, in SOS International knew how to handle this stack. So we obviously need some help. So we uh, teamed up with Red Hat uh, from the Irish team, mainly uh, mobile developers uh, from Waterford. And then uh, in the end of November, December, they started installing this platform. And in February, we have the first live demo on this platform with a new client, uh, which is going live in uh, Sweden and Finland and all their expats customers. So. First of June, we go live, uh, promoting this for a million clients, uh, end users. Uh, so the timeline is actually quite short, uh, as you can see. Um, I remember some of the developers actually saying that now we have been trying for two years to kill these two Linux servers, and suddenly we have a Red Hat stack inside. That's IT karma, he said. Yeah, I don't know what you call it. but. Um, the topic to us is actually that we, uh, we're running on this platform now and we are focusing on, on uh, you know, bi-model IT setup, uh, trying to hire and uh, changing the, the knowledge and the culture mentality. Uh, since we're not Microsoft focused anymore, suddenly it's Red Hat. Um, I think the challenge to us is that when we are focusing on digital masters, uh, our digital capabilities, uh, and then we have, of course, uh, regulations, especially in, in, in the EU, we have the GDPR coming in pretty fast, uh, 25th of May, uh, and we need to be compliant on this since we're working on a new technology platform. Um, some of the issues to us is that when we're focusing, this is from the MIT, some research they did, uh, focusing on legacy system based on the... Uh, operational core backbone compared to the digital services, um, how should we actually get these two different cultures working together? I believe this is probably the biggest challenge we have 
since you could all see it didn't take us more than eight, ten months actually to install entire new platform. We didn't have the competences to do it. Uh, we just hired in some externals and then we were up running. So that was just pure technology. Uh, the real trouble is actually to get the organization working with this. Uh, and we have another focus about uh, what you call digital masters. This is also a framework from MIT that we're working with that we have been uh, focusing on saying the insurance company, which is our main customers, has a focus of 33% uh, is actually in the high level as mastering, meaning they are, would not be interested in working with our services since they can do it themselves. So time is moving rapidly to us uh, and we need to move across uh, and be the true masters of, of this area or we would actually start losing customers. So the buy model setup is, is actually very necessary to us to master uh, to keep our customer and gain the new, the GDPR part focusing on. My outlook for this, uh, and it's probably what we're going to discuss later, uh, is that technologies. Um, we need to master future technologies very easily and actually create complexity based on this. We need to bridge different technologies and make it complex for our competitors to make copies of whatever services we are building. Um, I think that's probably one of, one of the main issues that I'm focusing on at the moment. I have a task at the moment saying Digital Strategy 2025. I know it's a long line, we head on the headlights. Um, but this is the focus for us, including that when we're talking about GDPR and so on, uh, the time spent in business, not just IT, is, is very high. Uh, so when it comes to microservices, this uh, middleware architecture is extremely important to us. So I think that will be some of the issues uh, that we are focusing on. Okay. Very good.